and a German Italian artist is in Kansas City right now photographing Holocaust survivors. At five o'clock, we told you about his exhibition coming in September. Leslie Aguilar is live at the Liberty Memorial this morning, and that's where the artist hopes to be able to display his project. Now, Leslie, you spoke with one of the survivors who will be a part of this effort. Really an interesting art project. Uh, that's right. I spoke with one of the eight Holocaust survivors Luigi Toscano will be meeting with here in Kansas City this week. That survivor is one of more than 400 the artist has photographed over the years. Erwin Stern is 90 and lives in Overland Park. He's from Austria. When he was eight years old, his parents put him and one of his sisters on a train to escape the country. They went to France. Eventually, some Americans sponsored them to come to the United States. Stern spent most most of his life thinking the rest of his family was dead. But when he was 25, he found out his father survived being shot by Nazis, then was held captive in Siberia for more than a decade. He gladly shared his story for the Toscano's, pro for Toscano's project because he believes it's important we keep remembering the Holocaust. He says if we forget, it could happen again. In another, what, 10, 20 years, there won't be any sur probably survivors from the Holocaust. So it'll be like a forgotten story. And uh, it's a reminder that it can't happen again anywhere. And the there is so much more to his story, and I'm going to put it together for KCTV 5 News this evening. As for the project that his portrait will be a part of, it's called Lest We Forget, and it's going to happen in September. The location is still to be determined, but they're hoping to put it up somewhere here near, near the Liberty Memorial. Reporting live in Kansas City, Leslie Aguilar, KCTV 5 News.